Hi everyone, I'm Gina Kay from Gina Kay Designs and your host of Stamp TV. And I'd like to welcome you to our release party presentation. Tonight, you'll get to see four brand new stamp sets designed for you by our talented illustrators. You'll also get to see our newest mini kit and our brand new incentive set. At any time, feel free to click on the links below this screen to play along with our contest questions, our challenge, and to see all of the stamp sets in full along with the beautiful samples created by our design team especially for you. If you're the partying type, we have a party chat thread going strong. And the best news is, all of the products are already available in our store at GinaKDesigns.com, so you don't have to wait to place your order. So sit back and relax and enjoy tonight's release party presentation. I'm so excited to show you the new stamp sets that we've released tonight. We have four brand new stamp sets, a new mini kit, and a brand new incentive. First up, Melanie Menchinger has created another fabulous set in her Stately Flowers series. Stately Flowers 11 has some gorgeous flowers to color, including this amazing Indian paintbrush. I've already used this one and created a card in red, but I've looked up this flower and they come in a variety of colors, so my colored pencils and alcohol markers are going to get a great workout with this beautiful set. Melody included some fun accents like this postage stamp frame and a canceled mark that you can stamp either Happy Mail or Gina K Designs inside. This would be adorable on a hand-delivered envelope or right on the card as you'll see in some of the upcoming projects by our team. If you love coloring and you love flowers, you will love this set. I am totally jazzed about this new flower set by Teresa Momber. The Daisy Delight stamp set will have you coloring gorgeous spring and summer cards. And wait till you see how huge this daisy is. I'll be making a card for you in tonight's video featuring this stamp. This set is perfect for any occasion and has many great greetings to add to your collection. Everybody knows that Beth Saleka's daughter, Vicky, is a real-life mermaid. So Beth added to her collection of adorable characters to include her newest stamp set, Vicky Mermaid. Filled with cute sea creatures and quippy greetings, this little sea life set will be a go-to for all kinds of adorable cards and projects. Claire Brennan has designed a lovely little cottage set that I'm in love with. This sweet garden gate image is so much fun to color and it makes perfect cards for spring. Add landscaping in along with the adorable cottage and you can create all kinds of cute scenes. Whether you are congratulating someone on their new home or thanking them for their hospitality, this set will help you make beautiful cards throughout the spring and beyond. Now I want to show you the new mini kit. This kit is perfect for all the gentlemen in your life. It's called My Anchor and it's filled with beautiful stamps, pattern paper, cardstock and ink that will help you create elegant masculine cards. Let me show you what's inside. First, it comes in this nice storage box. It's nice and sturdy and you can put a little label on the side and keep all the components of this kit together so that you can stamp along with me when I make videos featuring this kit. Then when you open it up, it's got this beautiful navy tissue paper and it's sealed with an anchor label. So this really makes a nice gift too. So I'm just gonna rip this apart here. Okay, and look at what's inside. So first you get this fantastic stamp set and this is the My Anchor stamp set. Let me turn that around so you can see those images. It's got beautiful masculine types of images like an old pickup truck, an anchor, a lighthouse, and then I love this little scene. It's looking out over a lake and it's just two chairs with some wine or a couple of root beer floats, whatever you love and it's looking over the mountain and then some of the greetings are 
everything's better with you, grow old along with me, and then inside you can say the best is yet to be. Then it's got happy birthday, I'd be lost without you, and through life's storm, you are my anchor. So I think these two go great together, and then I love the I'd be lost without you with the lighthouse and the old truck, grow old along with me. So there's so many great options here to make cards. You can add your favorite Father's Day or the word dad or son, and you can make, or husband, you can make beautiful cards for all the guys in your life. Now, you get that, you also get, let me take all the things out of here so I can show you. There's a lot in here. Get the box out of the way so we have some better light. All right, so you get 12 ivory card bases. Now these card bases you will score yourself. This is not a beginner's kit. So although it could be used by a beginner with just a few tools added, and if your beginner already has our sentimental bouquet kit, they've got many of the things that they will need for this kit as well. So you'll just have to score these at um, four and a half inches and you'll have folded cards that can be used either in a vertical orientation or a horizontal orientation when folded down. Then you're also going to get 12 of our ivory envelopes. So these, this kit is going to have you uh, doing ready-made cards to put right in the mail. Along with that, you're going to get some panels. And we've got a lot of cardstock in here. So I want to show you these. The colors you're going to get are six quarter sheets of our In the Navy, six quarter sheets of Dark Sage, six quarter sheets of charcoal brown, and six quarter sheets of our layering weight ivory. Now along with all of that, you're going to get some patterned papers. And this is, this is a little preview of a pattern paper pack that's coming in the near future. And these are some of the patterns that will be in that pack. So you have this beautiful navy and beige polka dot pattern. These all look so much like fabric too. You've got this beige and navy, and it's got a little bit of charcoal in there. Then you've got, this is almost like a corduroy stripe, and this is navy as well. Then you have this wood grain, and this is kind of a navy blue with some um, craft and brown streaks in it, so that'll make a nice wood grained background. This is a gray, and it's got some flecks of charcoal brown in there, a slate type pattern. And this one is kind of a watery wave, but it's got all the browns and the grays and the navy in there. So you get three sheets of each of these, and these sheets measure four by six, which is the perfect size with just cutting down a little strip off the end that can be used on, an, on a different card for, um, for your card fronts. Okay, so you get that. Then you also get one of my favorite tape runners. This is by ThermoWeb. It's the iCraft Sticky Dot Runner, which I love. And then you're going to get some ink. And you're going to get four ink cubes that were not in our first mini kit. So if you're collecting ink cubes, this will be a nice addition for those masculine cards. We have Dark Sage, Warm Cocoa, charcoal brown, and in the navy. And a lot of these images have very, very much detail in them, as you can see, lots of detail. So they will look beautiful in monochromatic cards if stamped with our dark sage, charcoal, brown, and in the navy. Now I added the um, warm cocoa in there because I thought that this kind of kit would really be conducive to wood graining and I think that this color makes a nice wood grain against the ivory and I'll be doing something like that in one of my videos coming up featuring this kit. So that's a lot of stuff that you get in this kit and I wanted to break it all down for you so you would know how nice this kit is to get started on some of those masculine card projects that might be waiting in the wings for you. Okay, let me get this out of the way, and then I have one more thing to show you. We also have this fun new incentive set, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see that. This set is called Botanical Blocks. Now, you can stamp these blocks in color or with Versamark for embossing.
Add the greeting and you have a quick, colorful card for someone who needs a little lift. If you add other greetings and these blocks together, that will be perfect for cards for all occasions. This set is yours free with any $75 purchase and will ship automatically with your qualified order. Now that you've seen the beautiful products released tonight, let me show you a new card using Teresa Momber's brand new Daisy Delight stamp set. To begin this card, what I have here is I have my Misty and I've positioned this quarter sheet of white cardstock. Actually, it's cut down a little more than that. It's about three and three quarters by five inches. And I have that positioned in the top corner of my Misty and I'm just going to kind of secure that down with those magnets. Now let me show you this stamp. Ready? Look how big that is. That's almost a quarter sheet of cardstock. Have you ever seen a flower that big? Isn't that beautiful? Okay. So what I'm going to do with this stamp is I want to position this so that it is kind of coming off of my card. So we'll get like that much of it. And that's where I want to position it. Now I'm going to pick that up with my Misty lid. And then I'm going to use my embossing magic pad and just rub some of that on my piece of cardstock. Then using a Versamark pad, I'm going to ink that big stamp up. And you can see inside my Misty, this is the Misty mouse pad. This replaces the cushion. It is a cushion, but it's got a, a grid top that can just be wiped away with a little bit of stamp cleaner and a paper towel. So I really like using this. The grid paper is great too but the mouse pad I really enjoy. Okay, so now I'm going to stamp this right onto my piece of cardstock. Make sure that transfers well. Okay. And now I'm gonna pick this up. Let me get my Misty out of the way. And I'm going to grab another piece of scrap paper here. And I'm going to use some of the Gina K Designs embossing powder in the fine detail white. And I'm going to sprinkle that over that entire flower. Okay. So I don't, you can probably see that a little bit on there, but. Once you see the technique, then you'll really be able to see it. So now, let me get my embossing powder put away and out of the way. I'm going to heat that up using my heat tool. Just going to start that a little bit before I actually heat it up on the cardstock, and that will just prevent it from warping a little bit by getting the gun hot. All right. So I'm going to just... Emboss that whole daisy. This is huge. It's almost like a background stamp. It's beautiful. Okay. So now I've done that. And now I'm going to grab a couple of sponge daubers. And I'm going to pick a couple ink colors. Now I have all my cubes kind of in rainbow order in these little Tim Holtz tins. And I'm going to choose the sweet mango and some sweet corn. So those two colors for this daisy. I'm going to start with the sweet mango. And I'm going to grab one of the sponge daubers and I'm just going to get some of that sweet mango right onto the dauber. And then starting right in the center of this daisy, and you'll be able to see that because it's got a lot of shine, so in real life you'll be able to find the center. So you're going to put this sponge dauber right in the center, and in a circular motion just add a little bit of color like that, and just gently work your way out, getting a little bit lighter as you go. Okay. Now I'm going to grab that other ink cube, which is the sweet corn, and I'm going to ink that sponge dauber up real well with some sweet corn. 
and I'm going to work my way out from the center adding some of that softer yellow and I'm going to keep going around in a circle until I get all the way to the outside of those flower petals and I'm going to get lighter, a lighter touch as I go but I just want to make sure I gently touch all of them now I can come back in with that sweet mango again on the center and blend out just a little bit more to kind of create some fade like that and then I can put a little more sweet corn. It's always better to go back and add layers than to do too much and not be able to go back. You can't take ink off once you once you put it down, so. And so there is my daisy. Let me get a little more down here in the corner. If you can see that. So that is really elegant and easy, so easy. Then when you're done that, just get a piece of paper towel and rub over the surface of the flower just to remove any excess ink that might be pulled on top of that embossing powder since it can't absorb in. Now I'm going to grab a Gina K Designs black ink cube and I'm going to mount this first onto my piece of black cardstock using some of that ThermoWeb adhesive. I love this little it's my favorite. Okay. All right. And there, now I have that down. And now I'm going to go and grab my Misty again. Let me grab that. Put this in place. Because I want to add a greeting to this. So this, now I can put this down at the bottom of my Misty and secure it with those magnets and I want to get the big flower off seriously this is my hand this is the flower <laughs> isn't that huge when you see this in real life oh you're gonna have fun with it all right now I'm gonna pick one of these greetings so I love that the flowers real big and the greetings are real small so I'm just gonna put a little happy birthday greeting right on there because I do send a lot of birthday cards that's one kind of card that I use a lot just going to put it right here. And then I'm going to pick that up with my Misty lid and ink that up with a little bit of black onyx ink. And then stamp that onto my card. There we go. Now this whole panel is just going to go on top of a white card base like that and you don't have to watch me tape that on but that's my finished card now I want to show you one more that I made which if you like a bigger bolder greeting I did grab one of the greetings from one of our past incentive sets this was the all about you incentive set and I used a bigger greeting which I thought also worked really nice with this daisy but I'll tell you the daisy is so much fun to just do in different colors and you don't have to limit yourself to the yellows and the oranges you can do this in shades of purple and lavender lavender and blue and just be eclectic and fun and wait till you see how pretty it is in all those different color combinations. So I will add this on here so that I can take a photo for you and put that up on the website. So there are some finished card projects. I hope you've enjoyed tonight's release party presentation. All of the new stamp sets and the mini kit are now available in our online store at GinaKDesigns.com. And stay tuned to Stamp TV for videos featuring these new sets. Thanks so much for watching, and happy stamping.